my lovely Dragonites. I hope all is doing well during this quarantine. So to spice things up, I'm going to tell you a little story about a disaster online dating. Oh boy. Now, I'm not on online dating sites anymore since I'm currently and happily taken. That story of how my current partner and I got together actually stemmed from online dating, ironically enough. But that story is for another day not not today so let's begin this story in particular takes place uh from it was took place in 2018 i was uh bored single and ready to mingle really i went into this play store and downloaded this app called badoo one of the million other dating apps out there because there's so many i was swiping endlessly everyone's pickup lines were basically the same uh there was a generic what's cooking good looking or are you from tennessee because you're only 10 icy I must admit though, the Tennessee pickup line always made me laugh because funnily enough, I'm actually from Tennessee. <laughs> so it was it was a diamond in the rough. Anyway, I finally slipped right on this country boy. We're gonna call him Ron. It's not his real name, but that's what I'm calling him now. I read his description and interest box and realized he had a lot in common. He was a film graduate working in the industry and I, me being an animation student, I was an undergrad. Like, we both loved uh, comics, enjoyed fantasy movies, including everything made by Studio Ghibli, which is <sighs> my childhood. So I shot him a simple message. I, I don't remember the message, but it was probably stupid. I probably just said, hey, what's up? I probably asked him what his uh, favorite movie was, and that's it. Like, I'm not the type of person to do pickup lines because I suck at them, and sometimes they're really freaking cheesy. So I kind of just... Don't ignore it. Anyways, after the message, he read it and replied immediately. And that's how the ball got ro got rolling. So after communicating back and forth for about a week or so, we arranged a meetup. I proposed the idea of meeting at a public location, like a museum or mall, because I like museums, but the mall's okay. Oh, side note, listen, young ones. Always meet somebody new publicly and during the day. If you're still nervous, Bring a friend or have the friend follow the both of you. Never meet them by yourself. Even if you think you trust them, don't do not do it. It's a cruel world out there. Just just be safe. And if they say no to meeting in public, don't do, just, just, just don't do it. Anyways, back to the story. That was a little side tangent, but I wanted you guys to understand that. After hearing my proposal, Ron rejected the idea and asked me to come to his place, which was far from my house. Like, I live... Uh, in the southern side of te Texas um, and he lived way out there like in the middle of nowhere uh, his excuse was that he got off work at 6 o'clock and I wasn't there for it so instead of listening to those red flags I treated them like checkpoints <laughs> now let me add a little the vital piece of information our conversations grew more and more explicit in nature as time passed so the reason he wanted me to go to this place was to <clears throat> perform said acts. I declined, obviously. And at this point, all three red flags had risen. And uh, they were waving in my face pretty aggressively. Once he got the message that I was not meeting him, mostly a stranger at his own home, our communication began to falter. Instead of talking every day, it became every other day. And then we began every two days. It was pretty bad. Until one day he sent me an odd message containing a weird request. The request was pictures, not of my chest or butt. No, 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 no. Not the normal stuff. Feet. Yeah. Not what I was expecting. Now, I'm not here to kink shame. If you're, if feet is your thing, then go ahead. You love them toes. However, feet are gross to me. Especially my own. I'll put it this way. My feet are large. And do not look at the average woman's feet. They're not soft. They're not small. They are long and aggressive looking, and I could probably throw things at you. Just blame my height for that one. Blame my height for that one. Anyways, I digress. I told him that I'd feel uncomfortable doing that and even joked about only doing that for money. Once I made that joke, he immediately asked if I had Cash App. Guys, I've never regretted making a joke in my entire life so fast. I wish I could say that I denied him that, but money was tight and he was offering to pay so I I did it I sent the feet pics okay I'm not proud of it I, I still hate it but I did it anyways 
it got to the point that he would send me money to get my feet done just so they won't look like an orangutan construction worker toes that's the only reason and it got to the point where he demanded colors uh he picked what i would wear the shoes the position the pose the lighting it was everything he even sent me references things were out of control man over time he grew tired of only seeing my feet because i guess the pictures weren't enough i don't know and he began to try and convince me to come to his place again after i finally said no with big letters he stopped messaging me so the story ends there right no it doesn't two fucking years later he found me on facebook and he sent me a friend request now i found this friend request about a week ago and it's still sitting there i have not responded i haven't sent him a message i'm not doing that and that's probably where he's gonna stay right on my friend request and i'm never gonna respond like the other 50 million people i have never responded to but yeah that was one of my first online disaster dates trust me there's more than one there's too many i wish there was only one oh no next episode is gonna be about how i ended up going on a date with a man who was married i didn't know he was married until i found out later it was so bad i was anyways guys that's it for today <laughs> oh my lovely life is amazing i will talk to you all later have a good evening stay quarantined stay safe and don't forget to wash your dang hands Thank you.